the south side of Chicago and the baddest part of town. Well, if you go down there, you better just be aware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, Leroy, he was a gambler. <laughs> Listen, and he liked those best cars. Oh, man. Let me give a shout out to Jim Croce this morning. Um, bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Was the baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than no King Kong. And meaner than a junkyard dog. Ow. Um, okay, listen, you guys. Let me say something good morning to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Whether it's morning, noon, or night. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Listen, you guys, I want to make sure this video is not going to be very long. But I got to uh, touch on a, a, a situation that I had a chance to witness. And I need to make sure that I point out to every one of y'all out there under the sound of my voice. Abuse does not have an agenda. I mean, a gender, a gender sign to it. Assigned to it. Damn what you heard. Forget about what you see from the controllers that are trying to put the face of abuse on men. Because there is no face for abuse. Women are just as abusive and maybe more. <laughs> Kicking, punching, scratching, throwing objects. Okay, all of those things constitute as abuse, and I just want to say for the record, men do not have a monopoly on whooping ass. Okay? What I saw on yesterday was so disturbing. I was coming home, and um, this was a Caucasian couple, by the way. So just for y'all who say, all oh, y'all act like that. Um, it doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have a um, a color assignment. There was a uh, a young man that was carrying things out of the car. Okay, uh, obviously they must have been him and his girl. They must have been arguing back and forth, back and forth. Um, and she was like really escalating. Okay, so he was just like, okay, you know, I don't even want to talk about it no more. I'm just gonna move this stuff into the house okay so they got grocery obviously they went grocery shop and to me some of them can be some of the most frustrating days when you're going if if you're going to the laundromat or if you're going to the grocery store and you have to argue with your significant other anyway to make a long story short this guy is doing his best to carry the water and if anybody know what, like a 24-pack case, when you call it a water? He had two of them stacked together. And he was going out the car up to the stairs. This lady was wah, 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 and kept going on and on and on. And I'm standing there watching. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And lo and behold, while this man had this water in his hand, this lady slapped the living bejesus out of him. And the, he dropped the water and pretty much fell back up against the car door. Now, up until this point, she had been berating him, being mean to him, saying all kind of verbally assaulting things towards him. And he did say a few things back, but not never one time did he lift his hand to hit her. He didn't. And so when she slapped him, you know what? He snapped. And he slapped her back. And the only thing that happened was when he slapped her back, because he's more power, he was more powerful than she was, he slapped her and her head, well, her whole body hit the side of the tree, but her head, you know, bounced on 
you know, it was it, it wasn't really well, I shouldn't say it wasn't really, but there was a just some like like some rubber padding that was outside that the people had around their tree, fortunately for her. But it's still pretty hard. And she hit that on her side of her head and so then she went to scream and it, oh, I wanna call the police and someone called the police, I guess at this point. So when the police came, the guy was arrested. And I said, what the hell? She had been sitting out all this time, raising all this hell with him, and they arguing back and forth. And you slapped him, and he slapped you back. Nobody should hit nobody. But she slapped him, he slapped her back, and he ended up getting put in the paddy wagon and being arrested. If you ask me, both of them should have rested. And so I'm saying that to say, you know, women have to be very, very careful about letting their tempers get the best of them as well. And I don't think that people should run around with this one-size-fit-all uh, definition of who is an abuser and what the and what the face of abuse looks like, because basically we're wrong. Um, you see through all the commercials, and you know every what is it October or something that you know we do this sting operation where a man should never ever 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 under any circumstance hit a woman. And while all that may be true, I still think that under no circumstances ever 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 should a woman hit a man because sometimes people can't take it and sometimes you can cause a person to snap and a, the person that's the least violent um, can turn violent and if you put a dog in a corner and continue to berate and push and antagonize him he's going to come out of that corner biting and I don't think that he should be put down because of it. Because it was your behavior that instigated that reaction. So I know a lot of y'all disagree with me. So leave a comment below. Tell me what y'all think about it. Do you think that, um, you know, the face of abuse should be men? Or do you think it is men? And do you think that women have a propensity to um, hit just as fast as men do? And that... And if there's a lot of, uh, what do you say, biasness in the aspect, in, in, in terms of how we handle and how we look at physical or, you know, or abuse. Are we gender biased in our approach to abuse? Hmm. Tell me what you think. Leave your comment below. And um, I'll see you in the next video.